Hello friends and family. I am doing this video because Rihanna's peanut allergy has accelerated here lately and she's become more and more sensitive to peanut products and um, it's just, it seems to be going very quickly uh, downhill. She's headed towards a fatal peanut allergy. So uh, after discussing this with her uh, pediatrician, we now have EpiPens that she will have to keep with her at all times. So any of you who will have her for any amount of time will have an EpiPen to carry with her. And I wanted to kind of introduce you to what it is and show you how it works. Uh, there is a training pen in this container here that will um, I will show you in person and let you try it out so you can get a feel for it. But I'm going to show you here on the video as well. Now, before you give her an EpiPen... If she gets a hold of some food, and sometimes you won't know that there's peanuts in that food. I mean, it happens, and uh, I mean, it's happened to me a couple times by accident. And um, you won't know that necessarily that there's peanuts in there, but you'll know because she'll start developing a rash, and it'll burn, and she'll start crying. That is not necessarily a reason to use the EpiPen yet. You'll give her Benadryl first and give it time to work. Now, if she starts saying that her chest feels heavy or tight or that she's having trouble breathing or, you know, her mouth and her lips are tingling, that's a sign that it's time to pull out the EpiPen because that means that she's about to lose her airway. So, um, this can also be used, I think, for hives and um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, which can also happen. But the main biggie is tingling of the mouth, throat, and chest tightening because um, that's that's a sign that we're about to hit major trouble here. So anyways, you'll always, every time she has any reaction to anything, always give her Benadryl first. If that happens, then you're going to shoot her. You're going to give her this shot before you call 911. You do not call 911 first. You can have someone call 911 while you're giving it to her, but you always give her the shot first because 911 will take time to get there. So Here's the trainer here, and it says training device, and I'll bring this to whoever's got her to show y'all and anybody else in the family that's going to be around her uh, how to work it, but then these are the actual, hold on, these are the actual EpiPens. I will have one of these with the green cap, which is the, shows that it's the right one. One of these will be left with you. One of these will be left at school. They look exactly like... Oh, I can't open this one-handed. Oh, well. They look exactly like the trainer pen in there, except for you can see that there's a little window there that shows that there's medication in there. Each of these has 15 milligrams of, or 0.15 milligrams of epinephrine. And epinephrine, if you're familiar with the medical field, is something that they also use to inject cardiac patients um, during like CPR and stuff. It gets the heart rate going. So, even if you give her one of these and things start looking okay, pretty much make it a rule. If you fire one of these off on her, you need to call 911, even if she acts like she's okay. There's two reasons for that. One, there are side effects. The other one is also because um, there's something called rebound reaction where you can give her one of these. These only last about 15 to 20 minutes. You can give her one of these and then she'll act like she's okay. And then 20 minutes from now, she's having another reaction and you only have the one pin. So you're in, you're in deep trouble. So you give her a shot, call 911 every time. Don't worry about money. We've got an insurance. It's okay. Um, this training pin will show you how it works. They work exactly the same way. Um, you'll take this blue cap off. You'll grip it firmly in your hand. Keep your thumbs and fingers away from that orange bit. That's where the needle's going to come out. So it's already pre-measured. You don't have to worry about any of that. You just grip, pull the blue off, grip it with your hand, swing. See, so you're going to put it in the top. Let's see here. Look the top side of your leg. You don't want to put it down here because it's more fat. You want it in that muscle. So you will swing, jab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then pull it off. That's ten seconds you need to let it go so because it's giving that medication the entire time. Notice when I pulled it off that there's this orange sticking out. That will automatically pop out to cover the needle so you don't have to worry about sticking yourself. But you will send this empty container now with EMS. And I just want to show you one more time. I'm going to do this one more time. I want you to hear the click because that is important. You need to hear the click when you jab. 
that means that the needle has been discharged. You can do this through her pants. It's made to go through clothing, um, so no need to strip her down or anything like that. It's just a quick, listen to this, okay, ready? You hear that? That means that it's been dispatched. You hold it there in place, she'll probably scream and she'll hate it, but it'll save her 